caught it. Guys, welcome back to the Dirtbag Outdoors YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning on in. Let's give a huge thank you and shout out to Unlimited Ammo right here. This is their shirt, discount code right here. Go check them out. You're not gonna wanna miss that code. What do I got on the table? What, what's in front of me here? Well, a box of 38 Special, a box of 357 Magnum. What is this short little package? Let's go ahead and pull it out of its little gun condom here. Check it out. Guys, this is a Rossi R92 lever action, obviously, saddle ring carbine. This thing's chambered in 357 Magnum, which obviously you can shoot 38 Special through it if you would like. Uh, I haven't shot it a lot. I haven't shot it much. I've shot it, I don't know, maybe 100 rounds total. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're gonna take this to the range here in just a bit. We're gonna put a few rounds down range, just check out some basic groupings at 25 yards. Nothing crazy on this video, a little short, quick one. But I wanted to touch on the the sights and the recoil impulse of this thing all right 38 special is no big deal these sights kind of like buckhorn style ramp rear uh for most people including myself this thing shoots really really high even with this all the way down you have to really bury i mean i'm talking you can't can't even see the front bead you have to put it so low at, at 25 yards at least you really have to pretend like you don't even have a front side post it it has to be buried so far if you put it even at the bottom in a little notch you're shooting five six seven eight inches high at 25 yards even with it buried at the very bottom so keep that in mind if you have one of these or if you're looking at them i don't know this is this is the only one i've got experience with so i, I don't think it's just mine i think it's a design thing I could be wrong though, you guys let me know down below. But yeah, the saddle ring is cool. You know, that's kind of a throwback to the days when soldiers would be on horses and things and they could uh, mount their carbine to their horse saddle. 357 out of this thing, I'm telling you, it's like getting punched in the face. I don't know why. 357 out of any other rifle I've ever shot has been no big deal. This thing, I don't know if it's just a design here. I don't know what it is, but shooting a 357 out of here. The last time I shot it, I'd say I probably shot five, 10 rounds and it, it left a huge bruise on my shoulder from a 357. So take that for what you will. Action wise, it's very smooth. I will say it's a little finicky, a little picky on the hollow points. If you want to run 357 hollow points, it seems like this Hanson stuff, which is very hot loaded, by the way, it doesn't like to feed it perfectly. So it's kind of like, you know, your carry gun, make sure you find a hollow point that it likes because it's not all guns like all hollow points, just the way that the feed ramps are designed, the magazines, the, the bullets, the sharpness of the, of the hollow point. You know, you guys know, you guys know the vibes. But yeah, let's go ahead and take this thing to the range, give it a couple of 25 yard groups, come back, report back, see if I'm bruised. I'll see you there. Float up some 38 special first. Here we go. All right, let me aim center. We'll shoot more of this if we have to. This thing's this thing's weird to aim, guys. I'm telling you, you gotta get used to it. Throw another one in there. One more for good measure. Make it an even five. Because I think my first one was low, which is weird. All right, guys. Let's load up the Tree 57. See how that feels. It's not going to feel good. I promise. Alrighty, brace yourselves for impact. We're not going for groups or nothing, we're just shooting it for fun. I'm gonna aim at that same spot. We're not gonna be able to tell the difference probably from 357 38 on the target, but maybe we will from the zoom in camera. Here I go. Jesus. I fed that one good. Ow! Caught it. Guys, if you're recoil sensitive, I'm telling you, you might as well be shooting a, a Magnum caliber rifle. That, that's, that's what this feels like. And I don't know if it's the way that this is designed, if it's these loads. I mean, I know these are hot loads, but they're not, 
you know, it's like if you're shooting a whole different caliber. The pain, the, the, the sharpness goes all the way down your arm into your wrist. Um, it's not it's not a pleasant experience to shoot. Uh, this is going to be my last round of it. Ow. All right, guys. Let's go take a look at that to see we shot eight shots total. All right, guys. So it's not as bad as I thought. All eight of them are on target. And that's not that in and of itself is not a bad group. But you can see the 357 holes. They're a lot bigger for some reason. I don't know why. Just more energy, I guess. I, I don't know. Let's recap. I'll see you at the studio. All right, guys. Welcome back. We're back in the studio. We just fired a few rounds of this thing out at the range. 38, 357. Shooting 38 out of this thing is a breeze. It's fun. You can do it all day. The only problem is 38 Special is kind of expensive right now, as you guys know as this 357 but i want to know down below you guys let me know what's a firearm that you own that you don't really love to shoot that much it could be because of recoil accuracy it could be anything that's it guys real short video just some things to watch out for if you are considering this if you're recoil sensitive it has a lot of recoil when firing full power 357 loads and it has a tendency to shoot high just from the nature of the sights, the way they are designed. Not really much you can do about it other than bury that front sight and hope for the best. You can get some pretty decent groups out of it though, especially shooting 38, the recoil is minimal. It's a huge jump when you shoot the 357s. What do you guys think? You let me know, check out the links down below. Merch, Patreon, yada yada is down there, Facebook, everything like that. I appreciate y'all watching. I love y'all, we'll see you next time.